Hello, my name is Anthony Cherto. I'm with the Northern New Jersey Council of Boy Scouts of America. We are privileged today to have George Verwer with us. George is the founder of Operation Mobilization. He's a humanitarian, and he's a former Boy Scout from Troop 89 in Wyckoff. Good morning, George. Thanks for coming today. Good morning. It's great to be with you. Thank you, George, for taking time out of your busy schedule. I hear you just coming from uh, where you reside over in England. Um, today, we'd love to hear about, uh, about your your life and your role in Operation Mobilization, and most importantly, the, the positive role the scouting program has played in your life. Well, I think the first thing I want to say, which I think is unusual for some people today, is that I never had an unhappy day as, as a kid. I was born right here in Patterson, but reared really in Wyckoff, and got into the Cub Scouts and evolved quickly into the Boy Scouts, which played such a major role in my uh, life. Little did I know what uh, you know the living God was preparing for me as I helped birth a movement which pioneered the whole concept of giving a summer to serving among the poor in a more difficult nation. And for me, it was firstly Mexico, just three of us. I was only 19. We drove right down the road here, headed for uh, Mexico via Chicago. And we saw that, uh, number one, we could learn Spanish a lot quicker. I'd been studying Spanish in high school. And number two, we could just fall in love with, with people. Number three, the poverty we saw just changed our lives. And there's not time to tell the story, but this then exploded in Europe and spread across the world so that we look back at 200,000 that have served uh, with us around the world. We eventually got a ship, a large ocean-going ship, to facilitate what we were doing after we already had a couple hundred vehicles. And we especially got involved in, uh, in India and among the poor people of India, where we've now opened 110 schools among the Dalits, which is like a form of slavery, as they're considered untouchable. But it all happened right back here in Bergen County. and. The, uh, an important part of my life was uh, being involved very actively in the Boy Scouts. What are some of the uh, the most memorable experiences as a scout in Troop 89 in Wyckoff? I think it was being sent off to a, a training course, Shift Scout Reservation, which is uh, doesn't exist, exists in other places now. And I still remember some of the experiences. And uh, of course, I was going to end up leading this organization for 46 years and leadership is not easy. This went global, over 110 countries, a lot of strong-minded people, all kinds of people with different agendas. And then the Jamboree in California in the, in the early 50s was life-changing. The train trip on Grand Canyon so impacted me that I've returned there over 20 times uh, remembering my my original visit there with the scouts when I was 13 years of age. And the Grand Canyon just helped me embrace the greatness of God, which has been such an important part of my life. So what, what might have been some of the, some of the positive uh, life lessons you've learned in the scouting program that pretty much make you who you are today and skyrocket you into, into the founder of, of the organization that you're a part of? Well, one of them I've touched on too, but another one is doing all those merit badges, including electricity merit badge. My dad was, my dad was an electrician, but I managed to get that merit badge with the help of my father. He always stood with me in the scouts. I still remember him taking me to the first Cub Scout meeting. Uh, over there in Coolidge School, Wyckoff. It's still a memory. Well, I just fell short of Eagle. Um, I blame Billy Graham, really, <laughs> because um, I was so sort of going along okay until this guy came to New York City. And when he talked about getting your life right uh, and taking a step of faith, that's what transformed my life. But I was given the God and Country Award, which was a very uh, great highlight in my life. And I, I would like to see the number of scouts in New Jersey, or, or here in northern New Jersey, I'd like to see that number double. That's why the moment I got that good thing in that Billy Graham meeting of personal faith in Jesus, that I just, you know, tried to tell everybody in the world about it, with always respecting other people's culture and religion. That's part of my strong core value. So let's get the good news out about what the scouts are, are doing. Do you feel scouting is just as relevant as it is now, as it was when, when you were a scout growing up? It's more relevant today. It's more relevant. We all can see the mess that we're often in because we're losing our values. And if you want to see that, just come with me to Europe. Uh, just walk with me to France. See what we've just seen 
with the murder of all those people in the newspaper. And it's because a huge number of people uh, have turned away from the kind of values that the Boy Scouts stand for. So it's, it was relevant then, it's more relevant now. I say that as someone involved with young people almost every day in my life. You mentioned the electric merit badge. And, uh, and the positive uh, experience you had with that. Are there other moments in your life where you, you constantly find yourself looking back on the scouting program and saying, oh, I remember that, or, or that when I was younger taught me these skills that I still use today? And Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, reverent. Huh? Do you need any more? I bump into those things all the time. I didn't uh, relearn that because at my age I can't relearn anything. That's, <laughs> that's stuck in my mind right through my life. And my whole life has been built on those values. Well, Scouts, to me, it just shouts common sense. And uh, it's, it's exciting what's going on around the globe. Kids are obviously focused on video games and cell phones and the latest technology. How would you how would you compare that with the the scouting experience that uh, that the, the program develops in the youth of today? First of all, I think you can incorporate a lot of things in your life and still be a scout. I was totally involved in sports as a scout, and you know I was into movies as a scout. I was in, into girlfriends, too many of them actually. I probably should have joined the Girl Scouts, but anyway, that wasn't allowed. So uh, it's not going to inhibit your life. You will have to drop some things. You will have to schedule in some meetings. But later on in life, can you imagine what I had to face later on in life? Often 15 hour a day, uh, juggling all kinds of uh, responsibilities. So scouting, I think, started me on the road to multitasking. I don't actually like to do two things at once. You know, I prefer three or four. So I think scouting is a good place to get launched. How would you say the outdoor experience plays in the development of their skills and character in, in a scout's program throughout the, the outdoor experience? I think a lot of people today are neglecting the body. I'm not against video games, but too much time sitting is proven now no good for your health. People need to get outdoors. Hey, to thank you for your time, and, and if you have any uh, closing words, I uh, would appreciate Be prepared. Be prepared. Things are going to change on this planet. Keep a good attitude. Look at those basic things you learned on, on scouts and, uh, and put them into practice.